Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com. Today is January 25th, 2018. It's currently 3.14 p.m. Chicago time. And in this video, I'm going to take a break from my usual market forecasting videos to start the first of what is to be a series of tutorials on basic charting analysis. And of course, it will move on to more advanced subjects as the series goes on. So be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified of each new video that I produce so that you can be kept up to date as these lessons and also the market forecast are released. And also you may want to click that little bell next to the subscribe button, excuse me, so that uh, you'll get that notification right away. Otherwise, uh, it may be a little sporadic thanks to how YouTube handles notifications. All right, well, let's get right into it. In this particular video of charting basics, uh, what I want to do is just go over upswings and downswings, swing tops, swing bottoms, how you identify those on a chart. And it's really quite simple. Now, what I have here is the crude oil chart in my provisions charting software. And I'm just going to basically pick an area here right in the middle. We will be, we'll be fine uh, to start because we have to start somewhere within this chart to start identifying these upswings, these downswings, the swing tops, swing bottoms. And let's just pick the bottom here. Now, a, an upswing is when you have uh, two consecutive higher high bars uh, that are formed on the chart you have an upswing and when you have two lower low bars on the chart you have a downswing so starting let's say from here we can see that uh, here's the and of course this is hindsight unfortunately I have no other way to demonstrate this to you but we know that this is the bottom okay so as price bars move on we can see we have an inside bar an inside bar doesn't make a higher high or a lower low. It's inside the previous bar's range, so we call it an inside bar. But then you can see here that we now have a higher high. This high is clearly higher than this one. So this would be our first consecutive higher high. And then you can see that it is followed by another higher high. It's higher than this high. See that? So you have one two, you have two consecutive higher highs. So this is referred to as a, or as an upswing. It goes from down to up. And that most recent lower low, the very low prior to that uh, consecutive higher highs is your swing bottom. So this here is a swing bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and put an arrow there to point to the swing bottom okay next we're in this upswing what follows a swing bottom is of course a swing top so we're looking for that we come all the way up here and then we see we have a lower low but we don't have a consecutive lower low the next day actually makes a higher high so we don't have two consecutive lower lows but then here we have a lower low We'll count that as one. And then we have a consecutive lower low that is two. So now we have what's called a downswing. This is a downswing. And we take the highermost point there. And we're going to call this a swing top. Now, before I continue on, I do want to point out that the notation of swing bottoms and swing tops are all relative based on your swing rules. In other words, if you are dealing with one bar swings, well, then a one bar swing, you actually have a swing bottom here. Then you have a swing top right here. As this went lower, you have a swing bottom here. It goes up here. You swing top, swing bottom, swing top, swing bottom. This is kind of like both here. You're moving up, 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 up to here, swing top, swing bottom, 
swing top, swing bottom, swing top, swing bottom, and so forth. That would be based on the one bar swing rule. What I'm showing you here is based on two consecutive higher highs or two consecutive lower lows. This is a much more defined, much more longer range uh, for determining what the trend is. Uh, sometimes I just refer to them as two bar swings. But you want consecutive for this particular identification. So now we already know that we have a swing down here, or a down swing, I should say. But then notice here we have a higher high and then a second consecutive higher high. We are now in an upswing again. So just prior to that, the lowest low point is going to be our swing bottom. So we'll identify that swing bottom. And then we'll continue up unless we see two consecutive lower lows. Well, there's one, but not another one, so we have to keep going. Then there's one, but we don't have a consecutive, so we have to wait. Here's one. See, it's lower than here. And then here's two. So there's two consecutive lower lows. And because of that, we are now in what's called a downswing. And we will identify the higher most point as our swing top. We keep going down, then we can see here we have our first higher high and our second higher high. We are now in an upswing, so we note the lowest point just prior as the swing bottom. We keep going up until we find two consecutive lower lows. There's one, there's two. We are now in a downswing, so we locate the highest point just prior, and that's our swing top. Okay, we come here. We don't have a higher high. We have one, but we don't have two, so we have to keep going. So we keep going. We keep going. Then we have, there's one high. There's two, two consecutive higher highs. We are now in an upswing. Lowest point just prior is right here, swing bottom. Okay. And we come over here, we got one lower low, two lower lows. We are in a downswing. Highest point just prior is our swing top. And then here we got one higher high, two higher high. We are now in an upswing. Identify the lowest point just prior. That's our swing bottom. And we keep going, we keep going. One lower swing, but no two, so we keep going. One lower, one lower low, but not two, we keep going. One lower low, but not two, we keep going. So the upswing is still in effect. Okay? So there you go. That is how you identify your two bar swing bottoms and swing tops based on the consecutive higher high, consecutive lower low rule. In the next video, we'll then take what we have just discussed in this video and determine trend. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.